School bus drivers in Philadelphia play a crucial role in the lives of our students. And this year, those drivers and other staff narrowly avoided a strike that would have halted transportation. Eyewitness News reporter Wikish Bailey is live at a school bus depot in Northeast Philadelphia for us this morning with more on the new deal that kept those buses on the roads. Wikish, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Jan. Well, a big part of the deal came down to money. Now, because of this new agreement that's in place, we're looking at almost a 17% increase of a raise over the course of the next four years. Now, we are here at the district's bus depot, and we're going to speak with a Crystal Waters Copper. Right, Copper. Right, there Copper. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> And uh, we want to talk you first about the bus driver shortage. I mean, we're constantly talking about how we need more bus drivers. Can you tell us really about how many vacancies you currently have? So currently we're at maybe about 91 vacancies. Um, where that said, maybe about 227. So we're definitely looking for the people to get here, get hired, you know, help us get these children to school. The great thing about it is we're fully staffed for the routes that we do have, but we're always looking for more people to come here to help us out. And you've been working with so many of these bus drivers, and some of them have shared stories that they've been with us for almost, what, 40 years? Yes, our, our, our number one driver's been here for about 42 years, and it just trickles down. <laughs> what are some of the perks of driving? Just the overall experience of, of being here, knowing that this is more than a job, it's actually a career. There's an awesome benefit package that comes here, um, and, and I must say myself, the pay, I, I'm looking to be a driver all over again, so <laughs> it's, it's, this is an excellent place. If you're looking for a career job, I would say that this is definitely it. Yeah. When we're looking at some of these buses, they're huge. I yes. mean, I don't know. Can you drive a bus? Can Absolutely. I drive a bus? Absolutely. Yes. Bus? I have a CDL. I used to be a bus driver, so if I could do it, you could do it. Trust me. Anybody that is looking to be a driver, we have paid training here. Um, we have excellent trainers that can get you up and going if you've ever thought about becoming a bus driver. So, yes, please make sure you guys are coming. Family and friends, bring everybody. We are more than welcoming, so come on in. And if these shortages continue. What does that mean for the district as far as getting our kids back and forth to school? Like, is there a plan B in place? I'm, I'm just going to say we've been maintaining, and that's what we're going to continue to do. We have excellent people here. They understand what needs to be done, and they go out and they do the job. I appreciate everybody that has been on the front line getting these children to school, and we're just going to make sure we continue to do that. Okay, and we see that your uh, bus drivers are starting to pull out. And yes. they've been actually pulling out all morning. Yes. So we're going to let you go. Thank you for being with Thank us you this so morning. Much. And then we're going to take a look a little bit closer at what this agreement entails right Right now, this was agreed upon on uh, Saturday, and it impacts almost 2,000 bus drivers. So this includes historic wage increases, millions of dollars poured into training, maintaining pension and health benefits, and protecting sick leave and paid vacations. Now, once again, we've been out here all morning speaking with just so many of these bus drivers, and for them, a big part of this is that pay increase, and they say with the economy being the way it is, this is something that is very much needed. Reporting from Northeast Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Wakisha Bailey, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. A little added incentive there. And Wakisha, don't sell yourself short. I know you could drive a bus. They've got great teachers and trainers <laughs> out there just for it. Love to see you behind the wheel taking one of those things around the parking lot. <laughs> Well, you know, Jan, Crystal says that she's got to help me get my CDL license. So I'm not sure if this is what we should be looking at maybe next school year, maybe for the first day of school. Maybe I will be behind the wheel. I don't know. We'll exactly. see. Exactly. Start planning now. We all have to have goals. Thanks, Lakeisha. Appreciate it.